Hello, I'm Professor Janusz Jankowski. I'm a consultant gastroenterologist at University Hospitals of Leicester and I'm also Professor of Medicine and Sir James Black Fellow at Queen Mary University of London. I'm wanting today to tell you about BADCAT, which stands for Barrett's Dysplasia and Cancer Task Force. This paper is coming out in gastroenterology. My purpose today is to tell you four aspects of BADCAT. Number one, it's a systematic review, which means we looked at all the evidence available in Barrett's dysplasia and early mucosal cancer. This was very large, in fact it's the largest systematic review that's ever been done in gastroenterology today. We looked at almost 12,000 papers. The number of people looking at these papers was also very large too. The paper has 92 authors. Secondly, if we look at the process of BADCAP, it was very comprehensive. We assessed a panel by speaking to 14 international world gastroenterology organisations. We selected a panel from these organisations. We then composed questions. Third, we looked at the evidence base. Fourth, we voted to see if we could agree a consensus of at least 80% of people agreeing. And last, there was a writing of the paper based on the clinical prioritisation of the questions. If we move on to the main results of BADCAP, there was three major features which we were able to agree on. First of all, we were able to agree that the quality of the endoscopes that we use should be good. And although this seems elementary, in fact, in several parts, even in the West, poor endoscopes are being used for diagnostic purposes in the upper GI tract. And we felt the minimum standard was probably at least a million pixels. Secondly, with the new technique of endoscopic mucosal resection, now termed endoscopic resection, and I'll refer to it as ER from now on. This is a very good technique and we would encourage most units and certainly all tertiary referral centres to be adequately trained and to use this technique in, as appropriate and high grade in early mucosal cancer. The other feature of endoscopic mucosal resection that we agreed on is that we felt it was superior uh, to surveillance with patients with high grade dysplasia or early mucosal cancer. And in addition, we feel that when endoscopic section, ER, is used in combination with radiofrequency ablation, also known as RFA, the, there was a further a technical improvement in the ablation of Barrett's mucosa. There was one area where we agreed there was an urgent need for research, and that was the use of adequately uh, validated biomarkers in randomised controlled trials. Currently all the evidence and biomarkers out there is, used, is, is only in one or two centres. We don't have multiple centres using biomarkers and validating it. And also we need to show the intervention of these biomarkers and randomised studies to show that they really work. So where does this take us? Well, is bad cat as good as it gets in an evidence base? Well, there was two minor flaws which we believe the process could be improved on. First of all, we weren't able to perform a grade assessment in all the questions we performed. And this is essential so that you can quantitate how good the evidence is, because by and large the evidence base for bad cat, even though we looked at all these papers, was still very poor. And in order to do that, you have to be able to formulate what's called PICO questions. You have to put the PEC questions into population, intervention, control group and outcome. And this is currently what we're doing in the follow-on study called BOBCAT, which is looking at benign Barrett's cancer task force, how you manage benign Barrett's. Last, we feel that there were some parts of the, the world which were technically excluded simply because we didn't have enough members put forward. And these were Asia to a smaller extent and to a larger extent Africa. So in conclusion, we have undertaken the world's largest systematic review. We've looked at approximately 12,000 papers. We've come up with an evidence base that should improve the management of Barrett's high grade and early mucosal cancer. The evidence indicates that you should good quality endoscopes. You should be using endoscopic resection. You should be using in combination with radiofrequency ablation and we need more research and biomarkers. Finally, the Bobcat process is underway and has been endorsed by the same organisations and hopefully we'll give you an update on that later next year. Thank you.